What's up guys, this is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod truck for under $1,000. sections of the truck that were once bare metal to match the original patina that the truck already has. We're also going to plug in this new PCM to see if that fixes our no start issue. Let's keep going. Now that our primer is all dry, it is time to paint it. Now when I say paint it, I don't actually mean paint it. I'm going to be matching the patina. See this, this finish it has? That is patina because it sat outside for, you know, 40 or 50 years. This isn't the original paint. Somebody has painted it but it's still very, very old. I think it might even be house paint because it looks like they put it on with a brush in some places. So it's gonna kind of be tricky to match. Usually when it's just original paint, original patina, it's a lot easier to match, but either way we can take care of it, we can get it close. My goal with the finish when it's all done is I want it to just look like it's been sitting outside. If I can get this finish here across the entire truck, I'll be very happy. Um, luckily, all my panels pretty much match except for this fender. For some reason, somebody primed it gray. I don't love that, so I'll probably go ahead and scuff it down and get it uh, to match this rusty tan color, whatever you want to call it. The key when you're doing a patina job, when you're faking patina, it's all about layers. You want to put a lot of layers on, you want to sand them off, you want to add more. It's, it's just kind of a little tricky process. There's also a million different ways to do it, but I'll go ahead and show you the way I like to do it, uh, especially when there's this many colors involved. I got I got a red, a brown, a gray, a white, a rust. So I gotta, I gotta add a lot of funky colors and uh, then we'll start sanding and I'll show you how we do it. But before we do all that, first thing I have to do is scuff all my primer down. My paint should go ahead and stick to this the way it is, but just to be safe, I'm gonna scuff all this down with some 400 grit and I'll probably scuff this fender as well since we're gonna be shooting it. So let's do all that now. Got everything sanded, got all my primer sanded, got my fender sanded. Like I said, it doesn't match, so we're gonna make it match. I also went ahead and taped off my headlights, and I need to tape off that wheel since I'm gonna be spraying around here. The rest of it, I should be okay with the overspray, but we need to go get some spray paint. We're gonna get a bunch of different colors and see what the hell happens. <laughs> this place is playing horrible music. Ugh. Oh, 90s pop rock. I got my paint. I got some white. I got some browns. Uh, I used this on the Porsche uh, video when I did the patina on it. It actually matches this rust very well. Uh, I think this was a little too dark, but I'll definitely put it on since we're going to be sanding so much. What we need to do right now is start to paint all of our gray areas so we can start taking some of these layers off, start sanding them down, and then if it doesn't look as good as I want it to after I've sanded it off, we'll go back in here and we'll, we'll start doing some blotting techniques to kind of give us this look a little bit more. But like I said, we got to put all these we got to put all these layers on and then start sanding shit. So let's do that. So I had a couple people asking what happened to the heater. Well, it's been nice outside, so I haven't really needed it. It also still isn't running very well. It's just running like shit, it's just smoking, and uh, it's it's not worth not worth anything right now. So I said that I was going to destroy it. In one of the YouTube comments, I said, well, if I can't get it running, we're going to destroy it with a hammer and it's going to be good content. Well, funny story, my father apparently was looking <laughs> at YouTube comments, so he came down and he stole it the other day because he doesn't want me to destroy it with a hammer. That's hilarious that he was stocking the comments over the heater. I think the heater might be his, by the way, but that that's beside the point. But... It's even funnier because he thinks I won't go up to his house and seal it back just to destroy it. So stay tuned on that whole deal. <laughs> All right, let's get to uh, painting. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen these turbo cans before, but watch how these damn things spray. Oh my God. <laughs> they come out like a super soaker. Wow, that's crazy. I actually think it's clogged a little bit because it usually shoots out like a two foot, you know, like a two foot fan. That's still crazy though, considering how little I sprayed. <laughs> All right, check it out, I fixed it. I unclogged it, watch this now. <laughs> That's literally 12 inches, well, whatever, 10 inches. 
Holy shit, I love these cans. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, how crazy are these? <laughs> you could literally shoot a whole car in maybe two minutes with one of these things. That's awesome. I love these fuckers. So, I sprayed about five cans of spray paint, and uh, I can currently taste colors and also smell sounds, if that makes any sense. Your boy is high as shit right now, so I'm going to get the fuck out of here, and we're going to let this dry probably for a day because I put entirely too much paint on it. But, uh, yeah, I'll come, uh, I can't talk. We'll come back when it dries. <laughs> One eternity later. So it is the next day. Everything is dry. I am no longer high. Uh, your boy was out there yesterday whenever I was painting this. I found out my uh, paint mask had a couple holes in the diaphragm. I'm breathing it just a little bit. Not a ton. You know, I didn't get sick, but uh, I had a fun walk home. <laughs> I will say that. So uh, I felt like I was in college again. I had some good college memories last night as I was high. And I didn't even go to college, so huff some paint every now and then and uh, find yourself. It was a good time. But now that that's over, this is dry. We can start sanding it down. Depending on what your look is, you can sand this with really almost any any grit that you want. I've done it before where I've sanded it with 40 grit just to kind of get some, you know, some rough patches. There's really no wrong way to do this, but uh, it looks better when you do it with less grit. I've also done it with like wet sanding 600, takes forever. When you do it with that super fine of a grit, it just knocks off barely any and it looks really nice. In this case, I put so much paint on because I want to get down to that brown color on the bottom. I'll probably hit it with like a 120, something like that. And what I'll do to start, I'll come out here on the stuff I didn't paint. I'll start feathering in these spots that I got a bunch of overspray on. And some of these were bare metal from grinding, so I needed to get spray on anyway. But I'll come in here and I'll blend all these a little bit so they look better, and then I'll move over to this. So let's do that. Spray paint really sucks to sand. It's just it's just a hard paint. I need to go with a lighter sandpaper up here. Oh, so, uh, which one was it? This shit really sands horribly. <laughs> it's hard as a rock and it's gumming up my paper, even though it's dry. Uh, shitty. I should have went a little bit lighter with the uh, white because I have to use a thicker grit because this white is sanding so shitty than I would like. So I'm kind of burning through more layers than I want to, if that makes any sense. But uh, we'll get it figured out. It's just taking a little longer than it should. This is usually pretty damn easy and quick. Okay, so I don't hate where it's at. The only thing I've done so far is just sanded down what I already put on. I haven't added any other coats yet. It doesn't look too bad the way it is, but I've sanded a little bit too much. I got a little too much red showing, and that white really, it's just really, really hard to sand. So I wanted to take a lot of it off. That way I could put more on just very easily. Uh, I don't want to put a bunch of that white on because it sands real bad. Clogging up paper left and right, it just it's real gummy shit. So, got it kind of the way I look. It doesn't look bad the way it is right now. 
I just want to, this fender I love, but I want the cowl and everything to kind of match this fender where it, it shows more white. Um, and it looks, it looks more natural compared to this hood next to it. Also, another funny thing I found out while I was sanding, this truck has white house paint on it. There's yellow underneath, there's a blue underneath, and then there is a gray primer. It's got a lot of different colors. So what I'm gonna do to put this white on, because I don't wanna spray it and get it everywhere, I just, I just needed it in some concentrated areas. I took an old, shitty old rag, and I'm gonna actually spray it on the rag, and then I'll kinda like, almost like brush it on real gently, or even dab it, just kinda whatever looks better. The way the paint is kinda broke on this fender, it almost looks like it was like, you know, hand brushed, basically. So we're gonna kinda go over that and see what we come up with. actually kind of wiping some of the old shit off because the thinner in spray paint is so bad it'll actually eat away other paint even even good paint i don't hate that Started to get it exactly how I wanted it, and then I ran out of paint. <laughs> so we got to get some more of this tan. I'll do a little more tan on the top, and then I'll probably sand it just barely with like some 400 grit, just to give it a little bit of character, and then we're done. But I need some more of this uh, tan white, whatever you want to call it. I need some more of it for the tops and stuff. So we'll go over and have a can of that, and we'll finish this up. I'm not hating it. I love the way this fender came out. This fender is awesome. The music is even worse today. It's outrageous. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so we are back from the place with the horrible music. I got a copper paint, a couple of, you know, dirty whites, whatever you want to call it. I got some sponges. What I'm going to do is spray the sponge and then damp the sponge down. It'll kind of leave a, you know, it has a cooler texture to it than my shirt. And uh, also, we got some jelly beans. So, I'm going to probably be mumbling in a couple videos, but I don't care because jelly beans are life. All right, let's get to work. <clears throat> okay, so I added another really, really light coat of white. Also, I was not joking about the jelly beans in my mouth. Hold on a second. Boy, they really stick to the teeth. Jesus, I just about died. Okay, so I did a nice little light coat of white over everything. Super, super light because I did not want to sand anything again. I I just wasn't happy with the color that I had. It was just a little too too much red, a little too much of everything, really. So what we're gonna do now, before we sand it down, I did a very light coat of white, almost not even a coat. I mean, I like held the can like, you know, three feet away. What I'm gonna do now on the top of stuff, I'm going to add some of this dark copper color and I'm gonna use the sponge to just get it on top. Now when I do this, I just want it on the top layers. You can see the rust on the hood. It's basically just on the top. It's just on the roof. You know what I'm saying? There shouldn't be a ton down here. There still will be, obviously, because it's Missouri, but not as much. So that's why I'm going to go over here. I'm going to spray on my sponge and then damp it around on the top of the cowl, the top of the roof, and the top of the fender. So I pretty much have everything how I want it. It's just a little too light colored, if that makes any sense. I don't know, you can tell it's been sprayed right now. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go back over. This time when we sand it, I'm going to do a wet sand. I'm gonna do like 400 grit. Starting to look like old patina. You can see how much it's starting to match. This door, 
this door is original. I didn't I didn't paint anything on this door. This is just original patina. You know, so is the fender. And you can see it, it we got this cow section looking really the exact same. And the cool thing, the cool thing with having as many layers as I do is it really lets me have a lot of control on how much I'm removing. And worse than worse, if I ever went down too much, I could add all that shit back. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna need to because it looks like everything. Everything looks perfect. Like I said, this door and the hood, you know, the hood are a really good representation of what it looked like before. And I mean, our cow matches very well. Uh, there's a little more yellow in the hood and the doors than I realized at the time, but it's it's fine and it's not everywhere. So another cool thing you can do uh, whenever I, you're doing this is in some spots just sand too much. I like to do that on purpose in a bunch. And what that'll do, that'll actually end up surface rusting just like our hood did. It won't, you know, that's not going to be enough rust to, to cause any damage or any rot, but it's going to look exactly like our hood does. So it'll actually end up getting, you know, it'll, it'll end up looking better as time goes on. And it'll flash rust in a couple days. So I'm going to sand a little bit more back here with the 500. And we're going to take it outside and hose it off. I do want to plug in this new PCM just to see if that fixes our problem. So let's do that real quick. And then we'll go turn the key and see what happens. Then I'm going to take this bad boy outside and rinse off all this bullshit, and we'll see what our patina looks like. Oh, this actually threads in. Oh, there's water in there. Ow, fuck you, motherfucker. Alright, all right, let's see what happens. Dead battery. I'm trying to see what my code's saying. My my little LED that blinks. You can read the code off of it. I'm trying to see what it's saying. I think it's saying the same problem. Shit. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck. Well, that didn't fix it. Shit. It's it's got to be a it's got to be a ground or a relay or something. Well. Let's push this motherfucker outside and uh, at least wash it off so I can see what my patina looks like. Man, that sucks. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm very happy with the finish we have, and it's only gonna get better as this dries, and the bare metal spots that I've sanded down are gonna rust a little bit, and they're gonna match these sections of the truck even better. There's also a, I think it's called rust in a can, where you can roll on paint that actually has metal shavings in it, and it'll do this as well. Um, I've never used it before, but uh, if it doesn't rust enough to match this, you know, it's just surface rust we're talking about, not real rust. But if it doesn't surface rust enough to match this, I might try that rust in the can just on a couple spots. But the way it is, I'm very happy with it. It looks 10 times better than it did being in bare metal and, you know, seeing all the cuts and welds that it had. So I'm very happy with it. I'm super pissed off that our new PCM didn't work. Um, I was hoping that was one of my problems. Apparently it's not. The codes I'm getting are basically it's not recognizing that a PCM is plugged in. A lot of those problems can be ground issues, they can be relay issues, they can be fuses, just a bunch of uh, annoying electronic stuff. So, comment down below if you have an idea on what it could be or if you want me to try something. I've already tried about 100 different things, but maybe I'm overlooking something. I have been using these chassis for donor chassis on older trucks for years and I've never had this issue before, so it's got to be something silly that I'm just overlooking. But We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good shit they say to do at the end of videos, and check out some of my other videos. Peace.
press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we're not the same, what you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound, yeah, that 